everybody had an identity, but it was a single identity. You were a Moabite, an Edomite, a Jew, a, a, an Egyptian, whatever it might be. Egyptians can't become Moabites, Moabites can't become, you know, Edomites. That's what you were born, that's what you were. It was defined, you were defined that way. Alexander changes the rules of the game. With, with Alexander, all of a sudden now you have a dual identity. You can be an Edomite and a citizen of Alexandria. You can be a Judean and a citizen of Alexandria. You know, as you have, is that an anachronistic to say it, but you could have a, an ethnic identity and a political or civic identity, okay? Um, this is what has, what's the Hasmoneans are doing. When, when Hyrcanus conquers here, he is going to give people a, they'll maintain their ethnic Idumean identity. We read in Josephus later on that the Idumean Jews are fighting along other Jews, Galilean Jews, etc., against the Romans. And as they maintain this ethnic geographic identity, but they have also accepted the God of Israel, they accept Yahweh, they accept the Sabbath. And there's more or less the general idea is that they've kind of been welcomed into the clan, so to speak. And as he is conquering, and as, he's, as John Hercules is conquering, he is imitating Alexander. He's a Hasmonean prince, but he is also a Hellenistic Hasmonean prince. And he's imitating what they were doing. He's expanding his empire, you maintain your ethnic element, but you are kind of going to have the second identity as well. You are an Idumean, and you are also a Jew or a Judean with all difficulty of defining that. So these are some of at least the questions and suggestions and theories. Don't accept this as fact. Accept this as something that I think I, I think it's in the right direction. We certainly haven't absolutely proved this. I know that there are people who have problems with it. I've said that I've had conferences where I've had me and Jody Magnus have had major arguments on this. Uh, but leaving that aside, uh, I think that the evidence stands for what it is. And I, I stand by what I say, but take it for what it is, that there is, not everybody accepts what I'm telling you, okay?